Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What other cases were consolidated under Brown v. Board of Education? The case known as Brown v. Board of Education was not a single case, but rather a consolidation of several related cases from different states. These cases all challenged the constitutionality of state-sanctioned segregation in public schools. In 1952, the Supreme Court agreed to hear five cases collectively under the name Brown v. Board of Education. These cases were from Kansas, South Carolina, Virginia, the District of Columbia, and Delaware, representing school segregation as a national issue, not just a Southern one. 1. Brown v. Board of Education of Topeka, Kansas. This case involved Oliver Brown, a minister from Topeka, Kansas, who challenged the city's school segregation laws after his daughter, Linda Brown, was denied admission into a white elementary school closer to their home. 1. Briggs v. Elliott. This case originated in Clarendon County, South Carolina. Robert Carter, an attorney for the NAACP, argued this case, which also challenged the null separate but equal null doctrine in public schools. Number 1. Davis v. Board of Education of Prince Edward County, Virginia. This case was brought by African-American parents in Prince Edward County, Virginia, who sought to end segregation in their local schools. 1. Balling v. Sharp. This case came from the District of Columbia and involved a challenge to segregation in the capital city's schools. The argument here was similar to the others, focusing on the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. 1. Gebhardt v. Ethel. From Delaware, this case also involved a challenge to school segregation, with the district court ruling that while black schools were inferior, they could still remain segregated as long as facilities were equalized. Each of these cases was significant because they collectively represented the broader issue of school segregation across different regions of the United States. They were unified under Brown v. Board of Education to present a coherent challenge to the null separate but equal null doctrine established by Plessy v. Ferguson. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.